What is going on, everybody? James Blood Tech coming here, and today I'll be unboxing and reviewing the Game Vice Flex. Now, this is a device that is very similar to the Backbone One controller, but it has the style of the first generation Razer Kishi. Now, the big difference between this one and the Razer Kishi and the Backbone One controller is that the Game Vice Flex actually allows you to put your iPhone or Android, depending on the version you get, into this controller while also keeping your case on. The unfortunate thing with the Backbone One controller and with the Razer Kishi is that you actually have to take your case off. And it just kind of just becomes really cumbersome just having to take it off, put it on, and I just can't stand it. But with this, you actually are able to actually keep your case on your phone. Now, there are some things that I wish that GameVice would actually add to this device and change things up a little bit. Now, just to let you guys know for full transparency before we open this up, GameVice actually did send me out this unit for review, but all the thoughts and opinions I will be saying in this video are completely 100% my own. Uh, has not been, they have not paid me, they have not actually told me what to say at all. So everything I have to say about this device is actually 100% my own, but I just want to let you guys know that. Now let's open this up and see what we get inside. So as soon as you lift off the lid, the first thing you'll see here is obviously the controller and also this little quick start QR code here. So you do scan that, download the app on your phone, and you'll start actually being able to play your games. Now on the back here, it actually shows you the phone adapters, which we'll get more into that here. We'll talk more about that here in a second. Now underneath the controller, what you'll end up getting here is you'll end up getting a month of Game Pass Ultimate. Definitely recommend using that. Game Pass Ultimate is amazing and it works great with these controllers. And you also get the other paperwork here too, like a little guide here. And you also get this. This is actually a key thing you'll need to actually find out the right pieces here to actually put into your controller because obviously all different cases for your phone are gonna be different sizes of thickness and everything like that though so you're gonna need to figure out which one is gonna work best for you now here you got the adapters for the left and you also got these two boxes here that are adapters for the right side of the controller here and the cool thing is too if you're one of those kind of people who doesn't really use a case on your phone they even got an adapter here for small and large phones as well so they kind of have a array of different options for you so whether you have a case or you don't you'll be able to fit your phone in this no problem at all. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is actually take this thing here, this little measuring piece here. Now the phone I'll be using is my wife's uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max. So what you wanna do is actually start here from the starting point and just kind of go around this entire area until you find the fit for you. So we're gonna go with here. No. Then flip that over and go to this one. That one's a little snug still. All right, perfect. All right, fits right there, totally fine. So it looks like the adapters I'm gonna wanna use is L15-1, uh, and it looks like, yeah, it tells me it's in the one box, and R10A, which will be in box number three. Yep, R10A right there. So that's the adapters I'll get out. All right, now that we have our two adapters here, we have L15, and then we have R10A right here. So what we're gonna wanna do is actually open up the Game Vice Flex right here. So we got the two, here, let me show you this real quick. You got the two little buttons right here you wanna push and that's gonna pop out this little piece right here. And then you'll get this whole little stretchy piece right here. Now you got this ribbon cable over here that actually will go from this end of the controller over to here. Right now we're going to put these adapters in. Now that we actually got the adapters in there, we can be able to put our phone in. So what you wanna do is actually put it on the lightning port side first, and then you're gonna to wanna to stretch it over. There we go, perfect. And you'll see the little indicator light light up right there. And then now you can just kind of go through all these different things. You got Xbox, GeForce Now, Apple Arcade, Stadia. Now Stadia will actually end up going away pretty soon because I think at some point this month uh, in January of 2023, uh, it's gonna be gone. So Stadia will no longer be available. I don't know if they're gonna take it off of the GameVice app here as well. What I'd like to see them do is actually like to see them replace Stadia with PlayStation Remote Play. I think that'd be kind of cool. They also have the Apple App Store and also just the regular support where you could get like, where you could just contact them, look at Game Pass firmware updates, that kind of stuff. Uh, but yes, yeah, so this is pretty much the app here, which is kind of cool. Uh, you go to different apps, go to different look games. Now it, it gives you the option to play the trailer, how to play, things like that. Uh, it doesn't really give you kind of a little bit of like a launcher, uh, the same way the Backbone One controller app does. And you can go to different apps like here on you go on Xbox, and if you want to, you can just kind of go on here, and you go click like things like how to play, and it will kind of give you a little bit of a walkthrough on how you could download or get the XCloud beta on your phone, which is really great. And you go through the setup, 
But unfortunately in my testing, there really is no way to actually launch it directly from the app the same way you can with the Backbone 1 controller. So that, that's, that's one uh, thing that I think that they I would like them to actually see do a little better. I like to see them kind of have a little bit more of being able to kind of launch the games directly from the app itself. The app could be a little better. Uh, but where I think this thing actually excels at, and I'll show you guys here in a second, is actually the controls. The fact that this is actually a full-on like thumbsticks here, the the click them in like a regular controller, I think is great. Because when you actually click, when you when you hear also like things like like that, to me that's no, the clickiness of the buttons is not nearly as loud as like the Backbone One controller. See, and to me, that, that is much more annoying, especially if you're in a quiet environment, there's people around you sleeping, if it's early in the morning, late at night, that kind of thing, and you want to be able to play a game, this is definitely the better route to go. And I just love that because it actually feels like you're holding a controller in your hands, which is great. Uh, let me go over to a game here, and I'll show you what gameplay looks like on this. Now, while it's loading here, I'm going to show you here on the bottom, you do get a headphone jack and also the lightning port right here for charging. So if you want to be able to charge, you could just plug in your lightning adapter there, and your headphone jack there. Now, I don't know if you could actually use a lightning to headphone jack adapter and be able to plug in two pairs of headphones. I tested it out with the um, the Backbone One controller and you could actually plug in your lightning to headphone jack adapter and have a headphone, have headphones plugged in over here, plus some headphones plugged in over here and have two, be able to hook up two headphones at the same exact time. So if you have a friend or whatever like that, whether you're watching a video or just playing a game and you want them to hear the audio too, but you want to disrupt people around you, uh, you could do that. I cannot seem to test it out with this one though because I lost my adapter, so I don't know where it is. So honestly, if you actually have one of these controllers and you test it out yourself, let me know down in the comment section below. Did you guys actually get to work with a lightning to headphone jack adapter or not? They say it's only for charging, but I am very curious whether or not that would work. As you can see here, actually, this is a really awesome controller for actually being able to play some of your Xbox games and some mobile games on here with your iPhone or even your Android device. I think this is honestly a perfect product, especially if you're a gamer or know somebody who is a gamer and you want to get them a really awesome gift. I highly recommend getting the Game Vice Flex. Uh, this definitely is a better choice in my opinion because honestly, when it comes to something like the Backbone controller now, while I do like this controller still, I don't like it nearly as much as this though, because I've actually gone through about two of these already. I have already uh, I was having an issue with one of them uh, where the controls on here were kind of wigging out on me and on the interface, it would just zoom me all the way down to the bottom of the thing and zoom all the way to the right. And I couldn't really move or do anything like that. I got in touch with Backbone, they sent me a replacement and that replacement was actually kind of doing the same thing. I still do have like, uh, I think like one control left though, but knowing that this actually has the, those kind of issues and even not too long after I even had the backbone controller it kind of i don't know if i just got two bad units or if that's a common thing now if you do have a backbone controller and you've actually experienced that same issue uh let me know in the comment section below if you guys have actually been facing that same issue with the backbone controller and just all in all just how it feels in the hand it doesn't feel bad in the hands or anything like that though but holding something small like this and compact versus holding something a little bulkier and feels more like a controller. This definitely feels a lot more comfortable in the hands. Now, granted, yes, are there some things that game, that the game vice uh, doesn't do that I wish it did do that the backbone does? Of course, but when you take comfortability into play and also from what I've seen so far, the failure rate of the backbone controller and just how it seems like, I, like I've already gone through two of these controllers within I think a year. Um, and I don't like, I'm not, it's not like I'm playing every single day kind of thing on this thing. I'm not, I don't think I'm like putting any more wear and tear than a typical, than typical use, but knowing that the controller kind of crapped out on me on two, two different controllers are crapped out on me. I'm on my third controller now. It just, I don't know. To me, that just doesn't seem very, 
even even though there are some features and some things that this does do that I wish that this controller would do, if it fails, there's no point in getting this. If you're looking for just something that you could take on the go and that you can actually fold up, make compact and basically throw in your bag, just have, basically have gaming on the go, I definitely recommend going with the GameVice Flex. The buttons feel a lot more like a regular controller. The joysticks actually are a regular controller's joysticks. They're not like little thumbsticks like this, similar to what you would get on like a Nintendo Switch or anything like that though. So I don't know if stick drift is gonna, I don't actually, to be frank, now that I'm actually saying this out loud, that could actually be probably part of the problem uh, that I'm facing with the backbone controller is that maybe the, the input from the stick is somehow reading it as if I'm going all the way down into the right and I can't move or do anything then. Uh, like I said, that's happened with me on two different controllers with that, with this, considering the fact that they actually are full on thumbsticks uh, that you would get on a regular controller, I kind of have a gut feeling that I won't have that same problem with this. If I do, I will definitely make an update and let you guys know later on down the line. But honestly, I think this is actually a perfect controller if you want to get something uh, for somebody though. And, and especially if there's somebody who uses a case on their phone and wants to game, uh, getting them something like the Backbone or the Razer Kishi, it's going to be very cumbersome. It's going to be just having to take on and off the, the case all the time. This is nice because you can leave the case on and it's easy to take off too. All you have to do is hold the phone right in the middle, take off the top piece there, and then safely take off the bottom piece there, set your phone up to the side. All you have to do is basically just slide it back together like so. Snap that on the back and then you're good to go. And it just basically folds up. You throw it in your bag, wherever you want to do. And I think that's actually pretty cool. I think this is really a perfect, like I said before, I think this is actually a perfect product, a perfect gift if you wanna get this for yourself or give this for somebody else. I definitely recommend going with the Game Vice Flex. Now, one other thing I completely forgot to mention, though, this actually is very important for people who actually have any of the iPhone 13 Pro Maxes or 14 Pro Maxes, that when it comes to picking one of these two devices here, I would also still go with this one as well because the Backbone One controller, not only you have to take your case off like usual, but due to the camera modules here on the back of the 13 Pro Max and the 14 Pro Max, is that you'll end up having a little bit of a little bit of a lift right here and you'll have to get a adapter to be able to fit your phone in this case. So now, granted, I think Backbone provides those for free, but it's kind of an added thing you have to actually add to this. And not to mention it gives you a little bit of a a little bit of an angle when it's plugged in. And I don't know about you, but I don't feel 100% comfortable if my phone was kind of angled when it should be going straight in while it's plugged into something. I would just be worried they actually would bend that, bend that connector over time or whatever like that though. While when it comes to, as you guys saw earlier in the video, with that 13 Pro Max, it fit perfectly nice and snug here in this controller and it looked amazing. So that's just something to consider when it comes to getting one of these controllers. Definitely go with the Game Vice Flex. It will actually will fit your Pro Max phones a lot easier and those camera modules will not get in the way similar to the, the how they get in the way with the Backbone One controller. But just wanted to let you guys know that real quick before I end of this video. So let me know down in the comment section below, do you guys have a Game Vice Flex or do you guys have the Backbone One controller or even a Razer Kishi, either the version one or version two? And also let me know as well, which version do you actually like? Do you like this style where it kind of opens up and you can kind of put it on your phone that way? Or do you like more of this telescopic design where you kind of just snap it on? Honestly, personally, like I said before, for me, the game changer here is actually being able to keep the, my case on my phone. If you had to pick between the two of them, my personal opinion is go with the Game Vice Flex. If you guys want to watch another one of my videos, click on one of these two videos up here. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to catch more videos like this in the future. And as always, this has been James Blue Eye Tech. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one.